Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about NAT type for Warzone and its security. Low, medium, high. NAT type, I said. Network address translation for Warzone. And it's your security type. It has to do a lot with your firewall and your ports that are open or closed. To be able to access Warzone, whether you're on PlayStation, PC, or Xbox, this video is for you. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Let me show you how to fix it. Let's go. All right, first thing I wanna to talk to you about is your router, your gateway, your modem. We have many names for it that we improperly use, but whatever you call it, uh, your home network uh, is what we wanna look at. Now, these right here that you're looking at are the different ports that uh, Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One uh, uses to access Warzone, TCP and UDP ports. Those are the two types, ins and outs. These are the doorways and the gateways for your Xbox or your Warzone game to communicate with the internet and get the information out and in that it needs to function correctly. Now your network address translation type, uh, if it's really, really secure and a lot of these ports aren't open, you may have problems getting into games, getting dropped from games, a lot of other issues, things like that. This will fix all of that for you. So now let me try to kind of talk to you about uh, how to get into your router because you need to be able to get into your router, your gateway, and you need to be able to change these doorways and open them or close them. So now, uh, so one of the first ways you can do that is by going to your browser, going to Firefox or Chrome, whatever you have. Don't worry about my, my skin here. This is kind of like a weird little skin I have. I have Windows 10 here, but you want to go into here, open up whatever browser, or go to your desktop, open up your, your browser. I'm on Firefox right now. You can use Google Chrome on any of it. Uh, the default address you want to enter typically for your gateway uh, or your router slash modem is 10.0.0.1. Uh, and I can show you on the fly here. <clears throat> when you enter that, it'll go to a login screen. So this login screen uh, is where you enter your username and your password to get into your gateway. Uh, default for, say, Comcast, Xfinity, th uh, other companies that are owned by them uh, is admin here and password. Uh, but it also could be admin admin. Uh, now, that is if no one has uh, set up a password uh, for this, a password and uh, username for this. Uh, you can also look on the bottom of your gateway or router. Usually there's information uh, on the bottom of your, your router. Um, if we do, uh, I'm just gonna type it in here on the fly and show you real quick. We'll just try to type it up, look at images. Yeah, so on the bottom of the, uh, the router itself, you can see their serial names and MAC address information, different things. A lot of times they'll even have the home network SSID, the password for it, uh, et cetera, right there on the bottom. Uh, uh, of your of your router. So uh, what you want to do is find that information, go to 10.0.0.1, log in. Once you log in to your router, now this is a manual way, so I'll show you another way with that phone application. But uh, the manual way here, uh, after you get in, whether it's a Netgear, whether it's Comcast, a Belkin, a D-Link, it doesn't matter. They all look very, very similar. You want to go to your wireless settings, uh, and you want to go to uh, port forwarding, port triggering, uh, port custom services. They all have different names for it. As you can see here, port custom services. Um, here it's firewall, uh, router configuration, virtual, uh, right here, advanced port forwarding rules. So they'll, they'll call it different things. Uh, but basically it's port triggering, port forwarding, uh, port forwarding or port configuration, uh, whatever the name is. So find it in your menu here under probably advanced network settings or firewall settings is typically where it's at. And you can see here, you wanna save your settings when they're done, but this is where you will add the uh, UDP and TCP uh, ports that we were looking at earlier. Where did I put it? Uh, here, these are the ones we were talking about. So you wanna take these ports, depending if you're on PC or PlayStation or Xbox, and once you're inside uh, your, your gateway, you wanna put those in here. So you wanna put, uh, they're doing some FTP whatever stuff here, so I'm gonna use that as an example, but you wanna put uh, TCP, uh, you put a name for it and then you can choose uh, which what it's for and go ahead and put TCP or UDP. You can see here it has an easy selection menu. So you select TCP or UDP. You put the IP address, the description of what it is. So you could put Xbox One, put the port from the port, a TCP. Uh, the IP address if you need it, and then that's then you would hit save. Uh, same as in here. This one's a TCP and UDP port forwarding. It has a starting port and an ending port, and what that means is the, the numbering system. So here you could see for the PlayStation 4 or 5, you've got 3478 all the way to 3480. So you want everything from here to there is what that's saying. And then this is just an individual port. Um, and so what you want to do is make sure those are all entered, and you hit apply or save, depending on what your menu looks like in your gateway or router. 
Um, now, there's another way. So that's the manual way. If you have any questions about that and you need more help with that, comment down below and I will show you more. But essentially, it's going to the 10.00.1, logging into your gateway or router. I didn't want to log into mine and show you my personal information, but one of the it'll look similar to any one of these menus. You'll be able to get in and do what you need to do. Now, let's talk about um, doing it through the cell phones. And so what they actually have you do is go to connect on your phone and then go to advanced settings. And in here, there's a port forwarding section on your phone and you can actually add the TCP UDP ports that you want to forward, uh, hit save, and this will auto upload it to your router, your configuration uh, at home. It may ask you to reboot your router and you can do that all right from your mobile app or your phone and get those ports added uh, depending on what platform you're on. And then you will be good to go after that. Draco Ray Gaming, I hope this really helped you out on understanding TCP UDP ports and how to forward them. This will definitely get your network address translation type, your NAS security type into the medium or low. You need to get these ports forwarded and open. And whether you do it through the browser or your mobile phone, you'll be able to get in there and figure it out. I'm Draco Ray here to help the gaming community. No BS, no fluff. And I'm out of here.